I can't think how much it was, but just brought this back. You've got to be careful though because it splits into like a, a cross shape and you've got to drill it in, you know, so precise in there to get that screw in there. And what size drill bit did you use? I think it's like 1.5 mil or something. But um, So you cut how much off this <coughs> arm here, off yeah. this fly bar arm? Yeah, that's it there. And how much did you cut off there? What, about 10 mil off, off the end of that? Yeah, it weren't much. And then, then you used it, uh, drilled it out. Yeah. Reverse this one down the base yeah. here. Now, because this, the screws have to be a lot longer down there, take them out from a spare swash plate because they're, they're slightly longer, them screws yeah. there. And just, just drill straight through the original hole. Right through straight to the other through. side. It, the, 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 literally, the drill bit popped out the other side. And then just screw it through, measure up the, 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 the them plastic crappy control arms and just lengthen your, yeah, uh, to your, your the bar to it. That's it. Yeah, so that's how I've done one yeah. mine. Just get the length to, and, the, uh, to the old one. Yeah, it seems to be working a treat and it holds it quite nice. So as you can see, you've got a belt CP here now with uh, minus the uh, control shaft. Well, the old one anyway, yeah. the plastic one, which uh, used to loop around the uh, blade plank. Yeah, good Blade mod. clamp. Certainly steadies it out. So it's a mod well worth doing. Yeah, definitely. As you can see by the previous video. Definitely. No stupid comments, please. <laughs> yeah, keep yourself. Yeah, we have got a life, you know. <laughs>